Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful dowdies? How's everyone doing today? I'm your host, Fal. Let's talk about Zhu Yan. Should you pull for Zhu Yan or is Zhu Yan a character worth picking up? I think a lot of people are still considering Ellen maybe over Zhu Yan. And a lot of people think that Ellen is a better character than Zhu Yan. There is some truth behind that, but it's because Ellen really has a good team composition right now. Ellen has Lycon and Sokaku. That team composition is just so strong and so synergistic that it just is better than everything else in the game right now. Maybe the actual characters on their own are not that good, but together they really make a good team composition and everything is super synergistic. This is of course going to be a very awkward thing when Zhu Yan comes out. She doesn't really have a good composition and the composition that she does have going for her is way less consistent than Ellen. However, I think Zhu Yan is going to be a very good character in the future. Of course, right now we would have, if we look at Julian teams right now, I would say that Julian is just going to be matched with characters that already have synergistic things going for them. Let's say if we actually put Julian with Lycon and Sukaku, that actually gives Julian an overall boost as well because of the double ice and the ice shredding capabilities. And then on top of that, Lycon's break can be very good this would be a composition that you could run however compositions like zuyan kaleida and lucy will also be very good yet again you have to adapt to the things that we have in the game right now because zuyan doesn't really have another one of her faction or really of her element these are combinations that we have to do all kaleida can be the breaker you know the dace enabler and then lucy can go buffing and together they give like a little bonus with double fire however if you do really want other as a main thing in the game we still have nicole nicole can be a very good supportive unit for julian and i do think that nicole will be a very good character for julian later on so it's going to be very nice that she's going to be on the banner as well we then take julian kaleida and nicole that could be something you could consider however if you really want more synergistic things then you would take julian Anbi, and then nicole then you get the faction bonus from nicole and Anbi. And then you do have also that bonus with Ether. So Yan and Nicole. Nicole can then do the Ether supporting stuff. And Zhu Yan can deal a lot of damage then. And then we'll make sure that you still have like a relatively good composition. Fair enough though. I do think that they're going to add more characters from Zhu Yan's faction. And on top of that, we're going to get way more breakers in the game. There's no way they're not going to make an Ether breaker. And the moment that that character comes out, you're going to be in a very good run if you pull for Zhu Yan. If you take a real look at what she really does, Zhu Yan is attribute as Ether, and then specialty is attack. Faction, criminal investigation, special response team. Agents with attack specialty possess formidable damage output capabilities and excelling at rapidly at ranking up damage directly through attacks to defeat enemies and bring combat to a swift end. Julian is an agent who relies on using enhanced shot shells to inflict massive aether damage on enemies in a short period of time. She can accumulate enhanced shot shells through various skills. Upon entering suppressive mode, she consumes enhanced shot shells to deal increased damage and gains extra damage bonus when hitting stunned enemies. This is really where the awkward part comes from because you do really want a stunner in your team, right? But because she doesn't really have that right now, you have to settle for an awkward setup. Answer the question, Ellen would be a way better pickup for you if you want way better and smoother progression in the game right now. That is 100% going to be a thing. But Julian is still a force to be reckoned with. And the longer the game continues, the more characters that are being added to the roster, if you get an other damage stunner in the game, she will be so good and she can even get better at some point. And that's what you really have to think ahead. If you really love this character, go for her. Be patient then, save your tickets afterwards, and then go for characters that synergize well with her when they are coming up. Then her tactical coordination is when they are support agents or agents from the criminal investigation special response team in the squad, Julianne gets crit rate bonus for a period of time upon launching her EX special attack, chain attack, or ultimate. This is really why also it's a bit awkward. And yet again, we're going to see more characters from the special investigation team and the moment they come out she's going to skyrocket in value i don't really understand why they released her now because this is just a bit awkward overall to team build with her right now but fear not this is going to be a crazy good unit though crit rate is extremely good and we just have to use what we have right now look at your account look at what you have look at what you can provide her with right now and the moment you see better supports better stunners then you pick those characters up and then you make a very cool team and then, of course, another big question. Should you pull for her weapon? Riot Suppressor Mark 6, shown as level 60 phase 1 for reference.
crit damage is 48%, so you're going to get a crit damage subset on this, which is very welcome. This is going to be a very good thing to have on your characters. Crit rate, crit damage are always very big subsets to have on these characters. Then, the passive. Increase crit rate by 15%. Launching an EX special attack grants the equipper 8 charges stack, up to a maximum of 8 stacks. Whenever the equipper's basic attack deals other damage, consumes charge stacks, increased skill damage by 35%. Now, this is, of course, going to be a very good weapon for her, and her signature weapon is, of course, going to be the best option. If you really like Zhou Yan and you really want to have her at the max potential, and you really want her to do the most damage, also right now because of the clunky team building, then this is, of course, going to be a very good option for you, and this will 100% make sure that she will do more damage as of right now. And again, thinking ahead, when she's going to get better teams, and when she's going to get better supportive characters, this weapon then will also skyrocket in value. So Zhu Yan overall is just a character where you have to be patient with. Be patient if you love her, pull for her. Maybe her damage numbers are going to be lower than Ellen right now or, or Nekomara or whatever it is. But with time, she's going to get better and then she's going to pop off and you just have to stay strong and patient these new characters for these newer characters to show up. There's plenty of other free-to-play options as well that really work. If you pulled any of the standard 5-star attack weapons, they could also work. Amber also got a free 4-star weapon as well. There's a lot of choice. You get a lot of pulls on these banners and you will always have something to put on Zhou Yan. This is 100% going to be the best option. But worrying about weapons is not really a thing you should do. Any free 4-star with good stats that work with her are going to be a good option for her. The real thing that you have to worry about is good characters. Then if we actually look at her banner, her banner is going to have Nicole. So if you are looking for an other support early on, this is going to be very essential for you because you can actually get a few copies while summoning for Julian. And then Ben is also going to be on this banner, which is a bit of an awkward thing for Julian. If you do really like Ben or you like his shielding capabilities and his crit rate buffing, could be a good character. But the overall banner is a bit awkward overall again because I don't know if you're really going to use the call to the end of time. Probably for a longer time. So this is a very good character. This one is not really. So it's a bit of a 50-50. So that's a bit awkward. And I do think again that the Allen banner that we're having right now just shows superiority and it really shows that Oyovers really liked Ellen in the beginning. They gave her Lycon and on top of that we got a free Sokaku and then Sokaku on this banner as well. And on top of that the other character is also pretty good and can be very good with Bella Bug with Grace and whatever. So Julian is just a bit in a rough position overall. But I do think if you put your heart and soul to it and you are patient, Julian is going to be a very good pickup for you. And she's still going to be very good even right now. I think it's very important in these games that we pick up characters and especially main DPSs that have a good feel to them. That are fun to play and that have like nice combos or a good playstyle for you. If you are pulling for damage wise and for numbers that is cool and all but if you actually have a character that is fun to play that is way more important and that will keep you playing for a way longer time i still think that zhu yan is worth it to pull however do keep in mind that you are having some awkward things attached as of right now if you are going to pull for her have fun and i'm happy for you and i wish you the best of luck but do keep in the back of your head you know it's a bit awkward team building but it's going to get better. So you're going to sacrifice your overall smoothness of the game right now for maybe a really good one later on in Zenless Zone Zero. And if I'm not mistaken, we are even getting more special investigators next patch. They already released a little bit of new characters and we already got to show new characters in cutscenes. These characters are 100% going to be released. So just be patient. And whenever they're being actually announced, that's when we really get hyped and we are getting more supportive units for Julian. Hopefully this video helped you out and got you a clearer view of what Jun Yan can provide or will provide in the future. Let me know in the comments down below what you're going to do. If you're going to skip Jun Yan or if you're going to pull for Jun Yan. And if you are going to pull for Jun Yan, how you're going to tackle this problem. What team compositions are you going to do? And what supportive units and stunners are you going to add with Jun Yan right now? I would love to hear you guys take so we can all help each other out here. If this video helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. means the world to me if you could do that. Make sure to join the Discord. We're trying to grow the community even further. Further. And if you want to support the channel even further, then become a member. I love you all, and I'll see everyone in the next video. Happy summoning. Good luck on your banner. Good luck on your pulls. Have a nice day. Take care. Peace.